Hi friends, good morning. Please look at the next problem in time and work. Of course, friends, it is an interesting problem. See, a contractor employed 30 men to complete a work in 38 days. He employed 30 men to complete a work in 38 days. After 25 days, he employed 5 more men. So, and the work was completed one day earlier. So, if you have not appointed that additional man for how many days the work will be delayed, that is the question. See friends, 30 men can complete the work in 38 days. After 25 days, if this 30 men continue, if this 30 men continue, the work will be completed in another 13 days. In another 13 days. Because 25 days they have worked. 25 days they have worked. So, in the remaining 13 days, the work, could, the work could have been completed had this 30 men continue. But here, here he employed, he employed 5 more men. 5 more men. This 35 men completed the work one day earlier. That is in 12 days only. 35 men completed the work in 30 days, uh, 12 days only. Now, 35 men can complete the work in 12 days. 30 men can complete the same work in dash days. Say x days. Now, 30, 30 into x. 30 into x is equal to 35 into 12. The work of 30 men in x days is equal to the work of 35 men in 12 days. Now, let us find x. 35 into 12 by 30, 6, 5 sixes, 5 sevens, 6 ones, 6 twos, 7 twos, 14 days. So, if the 5 men had not been appointed, if the 5 men had not appointed, the work would have been completed in 14 days. That is actually 13 days. But if the 5 men had not been appointed, the work would have been completed in 14 days. That is one day before, one day, one day behind, one day behind. So, 14 minus 13, that is equal to one day, one day behind, one day behind. Okay friends, thank you, have a nice day.